So, carburetor synchronization. This is my homemade tool. It consists of a piece of wood, lots of tubing, basically four strips of tubing that are connected, well, it's actually four pieces connected in pairs with a T-piece, a pair and a T-piece, and the T-piece connects them together. So they're all connected with two T-pieces, filled with oil up to about a level here, Got markings on there but that doesn't mean anything basically up they go and then obviously tube one on the left is cylinder one cylinder two cylinder three cylinder four then the tubes come down and they go onto the vacuum ports on each carburetor there's number one number two number three and number four and basically the idea is you need a screwdriver that fits onto the adjusting screws and you have three adjusting screws between one and two cylinder one and two you have the adjusting screw here here between three and four there's the adjusting screw for three and four and in the middle is an adjusting screw and the idea is when the engine is running you adjust this as a pair cylinder one and two using the left adjusting screw the right pair using the right adjusting screw and then you adjust them together using the middle screw so obviously when the engine's running you won't hear what i'm saying but i'll just start the engine so you can show i can show you what at what point I am with my uh, carburetion synchronization at the moment. So. So we see in this case, cylinder four is pulling a bit more and cylinder one is pulling a bit more. They're not that far out as a whole set, but I would like to bring four down and three up and one down and two up to bring that into a more of a straight line so i will start by adjusting this pair so you'll see you should see something moving then i'll adjust this pair and then we'll take it from there Stop there. What I did was I adjusted the left set so they came together, but by adjusting that, you did see the that pair came down quite a bit, and the second pair came up. So when I went to adjust them to come together, then this pair split again. Now I only moved each screw literally a, a little tiny piece, it's hardly even a noticeable move. So what I'm saying is each adjustment that you make will adjust will make an effect on the other system. So best to make an adjustment, let it settle, make a new adjustment. You might be at this for about half an hour. So make sure your cooling system's working. On that note, 
yes thermostat is now sealed and uh, just to answer another question from someone else if you find you have fluid coming out of this drain hole here then it's more likely to be the leaking thermostat dripping into the the hole where your plug is at number three and that's that so I'm gonna crack on with this this is a really really sensitive gauge so I'm not gonna get them all in a line and even if they are not in all rev ranges I'm gonna be happy if they're like a centimeter apart it doesn't matter but basically um, even as it is now not completely right but it's near enough um, it's got good gas pickup <laughs> that.